Tell up. Right, it's three of them. Sick of me. And now I want to talk about a festival that I've got with himself, Big Fest, but have actually rather to call himself Big Murder Fest. Or, must I say, Logos Fest. Let me clarify this. Why I call this? First, Holocaust means the sacrifice of a male animal on the other of gods. Second, there are only um, 12 million victims of the Jewish Holocaust uh, and um, Gypsy Holocaust and that's retarded people Holocaust. But there are any year billions and billions of things and billions of dying mass murder and gas chambers already in america 100 million pigs are killed and brutally executed in ways by gas chambers in australia five million in the country German and the Netherlands. Thirty million. Let me start by the first step. In the pig industry, the male piglets are hanged upside down. Then some creeper come to with a knife um, cut his testicles off. And his tail is also cut and short. Piglets have also portions of their ears cut out to mark them. It is called ear notching. By the way, how about that castrating with the in the studio, what I've talked before about, that's also done without anesthesia. Meaning, the pig that feel all the pain. His teeth are cut off so that he cannot damage the mother's nipples, what is a great money maker for them. Savages of the pig flesh industries. Imagine how it feels how on the day that you are reborn, somebody else is already planned the day of your execution. That's how it be to be a pig, a chicken, or, or a cow on this planet. They are not free. Given a chance to laugh, pigs can live up to the life of 15. In the small cages where the pigs are being captured, there are also being genetic modified and force feed to reach in just six months a weight of 180 to 300 pounds. At far more speed than I will do in their national needs. The hogs, the meals, are forceful penetrated or masturbated uh, to get um, sperm from him from there. And then the sperm is forceful penetrated that the industry likes to call artificial insemination right. there are unwilling baby machines of the pig flash industry and they are forced to at least produce twice the amount of babies they will do in the wild Smithfield, the largest pig killing 
organization in the world generates something like 8 billion dollars per year by killing something like uh, 1,100 pigs every hour. Smith feels largest five um, slaughterhouses kill more than seven, uh, 17, eight billion pigs every day. And you won't believe that Smith will do shit. The shit that all those pigs excrete. You're looking at a lake of toxic pig feces and urine the size of four football fields. That's because thousands upon thousands of pigs are inside of these buildings. Their waste falls through slats in the concrete floor and it's flushed directly into this giant open air cesspool. How many of these kinds of factories are there? In North Carolina alone, there are over 2,000 and the consequences are disastrous. Versions of that, so they're making droplets, fine mists out of this liquid waste and that can drift downwind into the neighboring communities. Castration also give the meat dairy and egg industry complete control over the rip of the victims because natural reproduction is almost absolute. Every aspect of raising the slave animal for consumption, from artificial insemination, a nice word for rape, and genetic engineering, to cloning and killing, or must I say, murdering. The exploitation of reproduction, reproduction organs is one of the main reasons why the majority of vegans are women and empathize with the animal rights movement. Humanitarian Patrick Jones explains women and animal alone with land, children have historically been seen as the property of male households. For a great book comparing the oppression of women to the oppression of animals, check out our sisters, species, women, animals and social justice by Lisa Camera. Both women and animals are seen as less rational and both suffer by being reduced to their bodies or even worse, their body parts. In case you are still skeptical of the claims and the facts I have presented you, check out the videos in the description below. Most people don't know that Himmler almost fainted when he was see how 100 Jews were shot dead in his arm. He therefore ordered his men to create special gas chambers disguised as shower rooms to do his evil bidding. I'm convinced actually that if 
Himmler was still alive. He wanna drink a cup of tea with the humane assholes who spread his insane beliefs about humane murder, rape or torture or like the article they call it artificial insemination and slaughter they call it uh, uh, slaughter is murder actually you don't have to be an Einstein you have also Buffy the Vampire Slayer and what do Buffy the Vampire Slayer are? Oh, yes, murder or vampires are you fucking dumb? Want you to be rather turned in pieces. Shoot in the head. Or executed by being pulled in one bed with electricity to force you to death. Or I want you to be gassed. You know. Remember, veganism is not about your, or about your health, or your comfort. That will be selfish. Veganism is about the animals. And if some vegan judge you for causing intentional, unnecessary harm to one pig or chicken or another animal, remember this. If you are not the victim, don't imagine it entirely from your point of view. Because if you are not the victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victims, label them stupid and dirty, say that their life does not matter it. That they are irreplaceable Nazis, KKK members, like all disgusting fuckwits have done with their victims over the centuries. Evil and Kofi. Because when you are the victim, things look a little different from that angle. When darkness and light become one, the reality split away and the two become its one. By the way, Pigs are far more intelligent than your dogs and cats. And if you say that Chinese people are criminals and monsters, what to do to dogs and cats? Oh, what a hypocrite I am. Stop being a hypocrite. You don't have to eat animals to survive, so you don't shall have the right to do, do that. Just like you don't have the right to rape women or abuse homosexuals or whatever. Peace begins on the dignity. I'll let you eat on a daily basis. Not your flesh. Not your right. Not your life. Not your right. Not your. Not your right. Not your flesh. Not your right. Not your secretions. Not your right. The animals are not here to serve us. In the same way that women are not on this planet to be sex slaves for filthy men. And homosexuals are not here to be punching bags for. Hitlers and blacks are only you not being to be servants of white men. Go vegan. What's your excuse for causing the least amount of harm on this planet? And there are many products that can replace if you want to eat something with a similar taste as as meat, dairy, and eggs. Check out Tofurky or companies like that, like Cardine, or make your own stuff with Satan and 
despises the herbs and the salt to it and make it taste the way you want. You can use the upper tail of you or you can use Saitan or you can make a mixture of um, rice flour with corn flour and then you mix it together and steam it and you can then also put some spices to that you use um, with um, salami um, with making that and then you have actually the same taste and texture I have a video about that I have to put it in the description below if you want to check that out I've maybe used other spices in your island, but you can choose other, spi other spices for it. 